Welcome back, event marketers and event technologists. We're here at Event Tech in Las Vegas, and we have been having such a great time talking to uh, all kinds of people here at the show. I have a really special guest. She's looking at me. This is Stacy Lambatos <laughs> from AOL, and you have a really unique designation uh, among our panelists in that you're like a real living staying, keeping your head above water kind of events person. How many events do you do in a year? We do about 250 events a year. 250 events in a year. How many days in a year are there? 365. That's a lot of events <laughs> to do in a year. That means we work some nights, we work some weekends. Some nights, some weekends. <laughs> oh yeah, we probably work a lot. We work a lot. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's kind of, I mean, this is like a, an area when you're trying to do that many events, you got to get some things right in terms yeah. of figuring out process, best known methods. What, what are your events like? First, just tell us, what kinds of things are you doing out there? Yeah, so um, it runs the gamut. So AOL owns a bunch of different content brands. We own the Huffington Post, we own TechCrunch, we own a gadget. Mm -hmm. So we support all different brands under the AOL umbrella. Yeah. Uh, we support employee events. So that's our sales conference for 600 people. It is shareholders meetings, it's our board of directors meetings. Uh, and then also B2B events, which is probably our biggest biggest bucket. Uh, we go to CES in Vegas every year, uh, build stages on the show floor for Engadget and TechCrunch, do client hospitality, show floor tours, dinners, private events at night. Uh, we put on our digital content new front in April in New York every year, which is probably our biggest production that we do. Uh, we go to the Cannes Lions Festival in France in June yeah. and round out the year with Ad Week in September and our sales conference towards December, January. So, so how do you keep it together? How do, how, how, do, it together? how do you stay as put together as you look to be right now? Are it's you, all a facade. Yeah, it's all of a facade. <laughs> are you really just about to like run off and cry? You know? um, I think you can't take yourself too seriously. You yeah. can't take what you're doing too seriously. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have fun. You have to have a positive attitude. But then you've got the client or somebody yeah. that is taking it seriously, yeah. right? And 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 I know it's, I know you don't mean to imply that we're not taking our job seriously, but. No. What happens when someone does explode at you? You know, what do you? you know, how do you handle it? I think the secret sauce is remaining calm and yeah. happy and positive, mm -hmm. um, especially under stressful situations. Nothing good is going to come out of yelling and reacting and mm -hmm. and getting nervous or or showing your stress and letting even your clients know that you're sweating on the inside and, mm -hmm. um, and just staying calm. And, and there is a solution. It will work out. Um, I, yeah. I, I recall... Easier said than done, but it's yeah. a skill and it takes some practice. <laughs> it does. <and> so <laughs> staying calm is really important. I recall, a, 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 I was at the Sundance Film Festival one year, and um, a film director and an executive got put in a car together. And now you would think, oh, no big deal. They're both going to our event. Right. Big deal, right? The press handlers completely imploded because you're not allowed to put the director and the executive in the car together. We just didn't know this, right? Because we don't work with Hollywood. But it was it was a very interesting experience, like yeah. to have, you know, the kinds of things that you can't really foresee when you're in the events business that sometimes just get get at you. And I think that's a big thing of just learning from your last event and yeah. getting better right. from your last so event. So now the checklist <laughs> is, okay, do they need their own totally. private transportation? There's a lot of things that go wrong or don't go perfect behind right. the scenes that no one else would ever know and uh -huh. that makes you stronger and yeah. learn more and get better with each event. Yeah, I've always thought, as long as everybody thinks it was great, yeah. then, then you're doing something <laughs> right, right? It's supposed to look easy exactly. and seamless. Yes. How do you make things uh, easy on your clients, people that are coming? What kinds of things do you do to make their experience good ones when they're coming to your events? Yeah, that's an interesting question. We just did a programmatic upfront in New York during Ad Week, and we decided to target really C-suite level, high yeah. high tier clients. Um, so, and we wanted to make this experience feel very luxurious and, yeah. and special to them. So it started with the registration and we had the CEO of the AOL Platforms Group send, the, send a personalized email to the client. So it felt like it wasn't just a one-off event. It was, yeah. we really wanted that person to come to our event. Yeah. Um, we provided car service on the registration page. We asked them if they wanted to be picked up. Mm -hmm. um, we had a champagne bar and a whiskey tasting and a, a fabulous, wonderful cheese spread. And yeah. um, for catering, in the general session, we did couches and lounge furniture rather than ballroom chairs. So everything was just felt very premium and very special. Yeah, that's something we've heard a lot about here at Event Tech is people doing this much more 
um, uh, it's the sort of the, the things around the edges of the event that yeah. we used to, you know, you know, had to, you know, you had to feed people. Yep. Uh, but making the food really good, yeah. and you know, you have to have chairs to people for people to sit on. But how do you make those chairs feel much more comfortable or put power on them? Things. Yep. This seems to be sort of the trend right now. Is yeah. is 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 the last thing you want is someone to complain about the food exactly. and miss the message, yes. right? And I'm not a buy big, your product. I am a big feeling person, and it's it's how you make people feel when they're in your house and when they're at your event, and yeah. um, you're hosting them, so you have to make them feel warm and welcome and invited and happy. Yeah. So what what have you learned over the last say year of uh, doing all these events that you might pass on to somebody that maybe that's looking at a year of lots of events? Where is there some guidance you could give them to say, uh, make sure you don't forget this. You know, in my world, it's plan ahead. I've, I, in the years that I've been at AOL, have always tried to kind of get get one step ahead from year to year to year. So yeah. um, we do a lot of events where hotel room blocks and venues sell out really quickly. So it's kind of being one step ahead of your clients and one step ahead of everyone else that needs you. Yeah. Um, and then that also builds trust and accountability and mm-hmm. uh, a good working relationship from the onset. If you get started off on the wrong foot, it's a difficult planning process. Yeah, for sure. All along. Yeah, and for me, my, my thing that I would pass on is to make sure you have good vendors working yes. for you. You know, yes. vet those people, know what yes. they do. Because, and take care and let of your them, Yeah, take care of them, but let them do them. work in the space that they're experts yeah. in. You know, we, we like to hire agencies, and then we want to try to do their job for them. But yeah. they're experts, so let them go and do their work. Mm-hmm. So exactly. that's that's pretty cool. So yeah. so you're going to be alive a year from now, right? I, After I, all these events? Knock on wood. We hope. So we hope that we can have you back sometime, and you can tell us uh, how it's going. Uh, but thanks so much for back. sitting and talking with us, and we'll see you maybe at a future event tech. Sounds great. And thank you for watching. Uh, Check out the show, eventmarketer.com forward slash all access. And it's been great uh, visiting with you today. I hope to see you back on another episode soon. Mm